Well, hello again, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I'm excited because I just took delivery on some germanium transistors from the Czech Republic. And if if you know, you know that that's typically if you're getting these from if you're getting these and they're they're real, you're gonna be getting them from the Czech Republic. Although, just because they say CZ doesn't mean they're real. Today, I'm excited because I took delivery on these three Mullard 950 NPN germanium transistors. And those work really well if you're building a fuzz face or a range master. The seller's name is Peter. He's got a YouTube or an eBay store under the name of X. Ripley. So I thought we could pop over and take a look at his page and see what he's offering on his eBay auction site. X Ripley from Lasnia Tauten has a hundred percent positive feedback and he sold 10,000 items. He has 127 followers so this certainly does look legit. First up on my page, we have the Mullard 950 Germanium NPN transistor, which is equivalent of an OC140. If you look up Mullard 950, you'll see on the gear page they're talking about something with the Mullard 950 or similar transistors. He claims he owns six or seven Germanium fuzz face and sun face variants, and the one that really retains has the Mullard 950. So this is an excellent choice of a transistor and this guy's got him. So he's got 103 NU70s, he's got Hitachi 2SA12s, he's got germanium diodes, he's got capacitors, LED displays, CMOS multivibrator, Nixie driver chip, capac trimmer capacitor, look at that variable capacitor, 3 to 60 PF. This would be perfect for a range master. That's uh, really neat. Segmented display, D sub connector, modulator chip, green dot matrix, LM399. Vericap diodes, Uproms, foil caps, red square LED tuning capacitor, analog to digital uh, converter, LD110. We got JFETs, bus controller, more displays. Wema caps, dip sockets, and much more available at the X Ripley YouTube store. So I am going to put the link in the description. You guys, if you're looking to get into pedal building, um, if you've if you are an old pro at germanium or you've never built a germanium pedal before, I would highly recommend a range master and you build it stock. You will see people modifying the range master, playing around with the value of the capacitor. I'm here to tell you if you put the proper HFE, proper leakage germanium transistor in a range master, it's not going to be ice picky. You're not going to have to worry about modifying the capacitor. But that's up to you. And our, and different people like different things. So, uh, what I will say is if you approach the project and you intend to get off easy and just put any old modern transistor in it, well, those are quite a bit more powerful than these older actives that they use when they originally made the range master. And what that does is it takes the tilt EQ and boosts it up so much that we end up with an effect of uh, too much treble, not enough mids, and certainly a lack of bass frequency. So 
to avoid getting burned and buying transistors and finding out that they're all low HFE or they're all really leaky, which has happened to me before, we need to get a reputable supplier. And I have had two different guys that I've dealt with on germaniums that were I, I was happy. One of them passed away. So we took delivery on these mullards. We're going to be testing them for gain and leakage. We're going to be building them into some range master and uh, a red rooster. I'm gonna make one of those, which is a slightly modified modern take on a range master. And I'm going to be bringing you demo video for what this sounds like. Well, I can tell you it's gonna sound really good. If you have never experienced a range master, I would twist your arm. It's it's one of those pedals that can can uh, be a game changer. It was for me. I used to always play with a real lot of gain, um, way too much distortion, and I play clean now. And my tone is so much better than it was. And it's not always clean, you know. I mean, Rory Gallagher, uh, Tony Iommi. These guys were using range masters. Also, if you know, uh, Keith Richards is a guy who famously doesn't use pedals. He used a range master, the solo, and sympathy for the devil. That's a range master. <laughs> if you think of that guitar tone, an aggressive, ripping guitar sound, he got that with a range master. So it's. It's a really unique circuit, and I can't be happier with my tone now, and that's, I really owe all of that. You know, I, I started out, I had written some patches on a multi-effector with a humbucker guitar, and I switched over to a Strat, and the beef was gone. I didn't have the, because, you know, I had used a humbucker guitar to make the patch, and then I switched over to a Strat with a single coil. And I looked it up on the internet. What pedal do guys use to switch from a Strat to a single coil and a, a Les Paul? And someone had recommended a Zvex Super Hard On, a show. So I built that, and I did like it. I did like it. I, I loved it, and it became my thing. And then, and then I built a Range Master. And... I'm not using the <laughs> ZFX pedal anymore. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, click the link in the description and purchase some, get, some, get yourself some germaniums while you still can because in 1980 when I pre-ordered Craig Anderton's book, he was talking about how these are running out, the global supply of these, and that was a long time ago. So get them while they're hot. X Ripley is selling Mullards 950s, which generally have a reputation of being excellent. They, they're not leaky, and they're right in there at the proper HFE that you need to build yourself a fuzz face or a range master. So that's the info that I'm bringing to you today. Uh, checking out X Ripley's YouTube store. We're going to be back with more videos. We are going to be doing the HFE and gain test on the transistors. I'm going to be doing a demo video, and I'm going to be featuring this pedal all year. So I will talk to you guys later. In the meantime, keep it cool and hug your pets. If you got one, give them an extra treat. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. I will talk to you soon, and peace.